Yes, yes, that is interesting. What a publication this is. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Support WrestleTalk. Order the magazine using the link below. Hello and welcome to the WrestleTalk News, I'm Ollie Davis, and this is the brand new issue of the WrestleTalk magazine, a 48 full colour page wrestling extravaganza. With all the biggest indie shows from WrestleMania weekend reviewed, former Power Slam writer Finley Martin charting Daniel Bryan's emotional return to the ring, Luke Owen finds out if NXT call-ups ever actually help anyone, and an exclusive Kenny McIntosh interview with Paul Heyman. And because reading can sometimes be inconvenient, say if you're driving a car or making love to a beautiful woman. Or man, don't worry, because the WrestleTalk magazine also comes with audio versions of its articles read by me and Luke. All of us here at WrestleTalk are very proud of the magazine, and we want it to become even more successful than it already is. And for that, we need you to support WrestleTalk, Swath Nation. Order your copy now by clicking the eye above my head or the link in the video description below. And then you too can make love to a beautiful woman or man while listening to me reading WrestleTalk magazine interviews. Kinky. Back in January, on Royal Rumble week, a woman accused then-cruiserweight champion Enzo Amore of a sexual assault incident from October 2017, where she posted in a since-deleted tweet, OK, it's been long enough and I have been so, so scared to share this. I was raped in mid-October by the WWE Enzo Amore, also known as Eric Arden, and Tyler Grosso and Too Poor let it happen as accomplices. I was in a mental hospital for 45 days after it. They are not good people. WWE suspended Enzo almost immediately, and just 24 hours later announced he had been released by the company. According to Fightful, WWE released Amore not because of the allegations being made, but because Enzo hadn't informed them he was under a police investigation, despite apparently already being aware of it. PW Insider reported it was the final straw for Amore, who had garnered significant heat backstage over the past year, including one instance where he was kicked off off the talent tour bus for being so obnoxious. Following Amore's release though, significant doubts were aired about the reliability of his accuser Philomena Sheahan, chiefly by her former best friend Sam Cooke, who had claimed the rape accusation was actually a cover story to get Sheahan out of trouble with her father and roommates for relapsing out of sobriety. And now it seems the authorities couldn't prove Sheahan's version of events, with Enzo posting a statement online in his first tweet since being released. The Phoenix Police Department recently informed Mr. Ardent, Enzo's real name, and his counsel that there is insufficient evidence in this matter to warrant any criminal charges, that the matter will not be transferred to the county attorney for prosecution, and that their investigation and case is closed. No charges were ever filed. The matter is closed. Pro Wrestling Sheets have confirmed the announcement, citing insufficient evidence after investigators were awaiting lab results from tests given to the victim after she made the claim. Interestingly, Enzo's letter signs off with, Mr. Ardent is working diligently towards his next venture in the entertainment industry, and looks forward to reconnecting with his fans in a big way in the very near future. Enzo's next venture in the entertainment industry could be the rap career he was rumoured to want back in his WWE run, or it could be a return to wrestling itself. PW Insider's Mike Johnson has said it's unlikely WWE would ever rehire him, as he was already on thin ice before the sexual assault allegations were made. Right on cue, Impact Wrestling co-executive vice president Don Callis talked about potentially signing Enzo in yesterday's media call. Never say never. You evaluate talent based on need and what you're looking to do. We have a long-term plan for how we engage with talent in terms of who's going to be on the roster, what roster spots we need filled, etc. It's not as much of a random thing. So you know, as with any other talent, I think time will tell. Order your copy of the WrestleTalk magazine by clicking the image on screen now! And give us a subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest backstage wrestling news. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.